Hey everybody, this is Brandon here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert or change the units in your drawing from imperial to metric or metric to imperial, uh, whichever way you're working. Um, as you can see in the drawing here, I've got a, a really quick kind of cul-de-sac layout and house lots, uh, house like layout lines plotted on top of lots. So I'm just going to dimension or uh, type the dist command to get the distance from here to here. You can see that down in the command line that it's 57. Um, I don't have my styles set up in this new install, but you can see right there it's 57.387. And I know this is in feet, but I can show you uh, real quickly how to check that and how to convert it to meters if that's what we want to work in which is what I would like to use right now so in the command line we're gonna type dash or negative sign then D W G for drawing and then units U N I T S this will bring up the command text box here and it'll ask you which Length, unit of length you would like to use for your drawing. It says a 2 here, so that shows what you're currently in, and as you look at the list here, you can see 2 is feet. So the drawing is currently in feet. Whichever one shows up here is what your current units are. Now to switch your units, we're simply going to enter in the corresponding number to the units you would like. So if you'd like inches, simply type 1 and then hit enter. I would like to use meters, so I'm going to type in 6 and hit enter. Now it's going to ask you a few questions and we're going to go through these. Uh, you can check the display format whether you're using decimal or scientific. I'm using decimal which would be like 57 dot two, period 234. Uh, scientific would use the E notation for exponents. Uh, I'm going to use T or 2 for decimal. Uh, precision would be how many uh, decimal places. I'm going to leave it at default at 4. And now it asks you if you want to scale other drawings when you insert them. And you're going to leave this at yes most of the time uh, because say you insert a uh, imperial like feet drawing into your metric drawing, it'll automatically convert it to meters for you, uh, which is useful. So I'm going to leave that as yes. Uh, insert units for drawing units, you're going to use uh, yes as well. And here's the big one here. Do you want to scale the objects in your current drawing to reflect a change in units? So, if you simply had the wrong drawing units when you created your drawing, and you just want to make them metric, so say our lot that we measured right here, from here to here, was 57 feet in the drawing. If it's supposed to be 57 meters, then you're going to say no, you don't want to scale that up. Um, but if you know that this is actually 57 feet, you just prefer to work or you need to work in meters or the other way around. If you know it's 57 meters and you would like it to show in how many feet it is, you can hit yes to scale all the objects in the drawing based on the conversion. So if I hit yes right now, it's going to scale everything from feet into meters. So I'm going to hit yes. If you simply want to just change the units in your drawing, which you can do this at the start of your drawing just to double check that you're uh, in the right units, you can hit no here. So type in NO or N for no. I'm going to leave it as yes and hit enter. Include objects in paper space. Uh, this is usually a good idea. It'll change your layouts to meters as well or millimeters. Um, that's up to you. I'm going to leave it as yes because I don't have anything in there right now anyway. And there you see it. Everything kind of moved a little bit here. So now if we measure this by using dist for distance, and we select here and here, you can see that it's now 17.49 meters. Um, and to double check this, hit the dash. We're going to go back into that same menu. DWG U-N-I-T-S drawing units and now you can see that the default is 6 which is what the current units are set to and it's meters and there you have it 
If this helped you at all, don't forget to hit the like button below the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm posting new videos as often as I can, usually one or two a week. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers.